Hello gorgeous Sagittarius and welcome to your monthly reading. I hope you're all doing really well. Guidance and messages for Sagittarius, please spirit come through. This is a general reading so please take what resonates for you personally and just leave the rest. Be sure to check in with your own intuition throughout the whole reading because this is how spirit communicates with you through your own intuition. You may see an image on one of the cards which really stands out for you or a message may really resonate for you at this time. Take notice of those things because that is how spirit is communicating to you. For a personal reading that is specific to your circumstances, you can visit katytarot.com. All the information will be there. Guidance for Sagittarius, please spirit. Guidance and messages for Sagittarius. If you enjoy the reading, give it a thumbs up. Let me know you like the content. I really do love and appreciate you all so much for all of your support on my channel. And thank you so much to everyone who has donated to my channel. I really love you guys. Thank you so much for your support. It really touches my heart and I'm so appreciative. Let's take a look at your first card here, Sagittarius. We have the scissors. Disappointment in some affair is on the horizon. This may be a larger thing for you, Sagittarius, or it may be a smaller thing. It may be something that you're expecting not to go through. So you could be waiting for a prom promotion, for example, and there's a part of you that knows that it's not going to go through. That's your intuition listening to, um, talking to you, and you must listen to this. Even though there's disappointment in a situation or in someone this month, I am seeing that you're going to be resilient, and this is in fact a blessing. Something not going through is in fact going to be a blessing for you this month, Sagittarius. So keep that in mind. We have the Tower Energy, a solid foundation. Success with effort is on the horizon for you. So you will be able to maintain success in your life or continue with success or build success with effort. You are going to be on a solid foundation in a relationship this month. If things are fluctuating between good and bad, positive and negative in a personal relationship that you have, it's going to become a lot more solid. We have the symbol of the knot, unsuccessful plans. I feel this is tied to the first message that came through with the scissors. We have the barking dog advice from a friend. So this may be good advice. Um, often it is, but it may be something that you're just um, needing to take into consideration and not necessarily act on. We have the door. Opportunities are waiting for you this month. You're just going to need to take some kind of movement forward or action to get things off the ground and for these doors to open for you. It may mean that you're reaching out to a network of people or a specific person this month to really get something moving for you. But Spirit does want you to know that there are opportunities waiting for you, even though there may be a disappointment of some kind in some affair this month. We have the sacred earth mother energy around you. A message of love is coming to you from someone. Now you're going to have to see how this plays out in your life. It may in fact be a lover. It may be a new love interest or it may be an established partner. It may be a family member or a friend that reaches out to you. It may in fact be your mother. There is a connection with earth energy. So if you are feeling drawn to natural places, sit and meditate or to go for a walk or a hike or just building a garden or being around animals and plants and nature is going to be so powerful for you and you will start to sense the universal love energies. And we have Sapphire. Easy does it. Your health, happiness and abundance require a gentle approach to life and work. Don't overdo things, Sagittarius, this month. Be aware of where your health is at. 
mentally, emotionally and physically. Happiness and abundance is coming through for you this month. There is going to be abundance or an improvement in these areas of life, happiness and abundance. And happiness could be in different areas and abundance could be in a different area. And it's going to be for everyone. It may be love and romance for some. It may be work and career and business for others. But a gentle approach to you um, and how you, what you say to yourself, self, um, uh, self-talk is really important to give yourself a gentle approach because there is going to be um, something very successful, abundant or um, a happy feeling or a happy situation that does work out for you. So easy does it on being very uh, critical about yourself. There is an energy of change, an energy of change around you. You are transforming right now. You must let go of the past. You must embrace the light and joy of this new day. So take every day as it comes, but look to the horizon and know that there are good things coming for you. And if you are in the energy of transforming, you will definitely know about it because transforming is a big energy and it's an energy where things are not staying the same in probably many areas of your life because things are interconnected and if something happens in your personal life, it will in fact, um, have an effect on your work life and vice versa. So you're going through a transformation right now and you will definitely know if this resonates for you. The High Priestess is guiding you toward more intuitive inner knowing and knowledge. You are an intuitive person and Spirit is saying it's important you listen to what it is saying to you. What are your feelings telling you? What is your gut telling you? It is trying to tell you something very important. And I'm seeing that you'll be making a decision based on your intuition this month. And that's going to be a huge leap forward for you. A huge leap forward because you're trusting your inner guidance. You are on the right path. The star is about being on the right path, heading toward your north star being guided by your inner light and feeling out where your destiny really lies. And you're going through a transformation, so things might actually change in a big way, so you become more in alignment with this um, destiny, with this North Star. This is Aquarius's card, so you may have an Aquarius around you or significant in some way in your life. And the star is also about healing and making sure that you are in a good position um, with healing past issues um, and also mentally, emotionally and physical issues that are going on. There's a lot of healing energy for you. The world is also about healing. So this energy means that you're going to have some kind of breakthrough in health or well-being. The world it can be about travel. It can also indicate that you're communicating with or in your life in some way you're trying out new things or communicating with um, people that are not of your culture or from different places around the world. There is a sense here also of tying off and closing off energies that are no longer needed in your life. Something is coming to um, a completion here with the world. So you can start afresh in a new way, in, in a way that is powerful to your own alignment. I'm seeing an offer an invitation coming your way here. I feel this energy is tied into the door energy where this is that opportunity that's waiting for you. And often with the wands energy, it means that you're going to take some kind of action which will have a lead on effect and um, create a door opening for you. And the queen of wands is a very dynamic energy, um, a great energy for multitasking and getting on top of things that may have been pressuring you over the last few weeks to months. If something's been weighing on you, a responsibility, a deadline, Whatever it is, I see that you'll be able to really 
um, overcome whatever this is in the month ahead and it's going to put you in good standing you have some amazing energies here for the month ahead Sagittarius I hope you have a wonderful month and I'll talk to you all again soon